Hi guys, um, just basically an update on my message, hang on, trying to get the camera straight, that's it, basically it's um, an update on my situation on my um, depression side, um, I've not been too bad today actually, um, I've started my course today, um, these are called Central or Prama, Prama, whatever you call them, and uh, 20 mg, so that could be quite strong, I think. Um, I feel okay actually, but I have been doing a lot of research on this type of um, anti depression tablet, and you can get side effects from it, so I have to watch and be careful. Um, on my side effects because I've been looking at um, some people on YouTube who have been on this type of um, anti-depression tablet um, but I was used to be on these ones and to, used to be on them and now I am not on them because I have to Chuck that in the bin. What my doctor said. So basically, these are the ones I am taking now, and I started my course today. So they're very, very tiny tablets, guys. Very tiny. But um, I've been talking to a friend of mine who he, he suffers from depression quite a lot, and he's bipolar. And I've been talking to my friend about the drink side of on things because that's what I was researching about whether to drink or not. And but I came across this guy who was saying about his pains on his shoulder and that. And I thought, well, that's the same thing what I had the other week when I had to ring up for the ambulance. So basically, I'm going to cut a long story story short um my friend told me basically don't take the tablet on the day when you're going to drink which i probably would because i am a bit scared to tell you the truth to take them but if it's going to help me in the long run and if it's going to help me to ease my attacks it might do the trick and if i've got to be on them for life and this is the scary part of my journey guys this is the scary part of my journey i don't know what i'm going to be like i don't know if i'm going to be up i don't know if i'm going to be down i don't know if i'm going to be in the middle i don't know if i'm going to be stressing out or every feeling you have inside you don't know what it's like to be on depression and if you know about depression, you will know how to feel. And links down below, or comment links down below on Facebook, if the people who are on depression, and any advice would help me. It really would, because, like I said in my depression story, I did not know I had depression till. I was young and now the time I'm getting the help and I'm getting counselling help as soon as my phone is fixed I'll be able to ring because <laughs> at the moment I can't ring out again <laughs> bloody thing and virgin but that is a beside the point but um, it was just I want to know any comments, any advice on how I can get around about this, how I can get help. I don't want too much, um, how can I say this, too much information that's made me complicated, make things complicated for me, because I do get confused, I do get complicated. When I was taking them... 
all the tablets, the ones I've chucked in the bin, I was getting muzzy head and I kept falling asleep in the afternoon because I'm on these ones, I'm on these ones as well. That's for me eczema. So my antibiotics and I'm like, my head used to be like muzzy effect and tired and I used to talk a bit weird and then now I'm on this, it feels I'm like awake and alert. That doesn't add up. Do you know what I mean, guys? It doesn't add up. I'm just going to take my antibiotics while I think about it because I nearly forgot. I have to take it because of my eczema. It's healing up now. Because, um, as I said to the doctor, it feels like a bite in your skin and makes me scratch so much and that's why I end up having scars and that is it really guys but um I oh yeah oh I've got my support worker coming tomorrow hang on a minute guys I've got cramp how oh <laughs> my foot it's got into cramp um, but yeah, guys, um, I've got my support worker coming tomorrow, so basically I'll be having a chat on her, telling my update on my um, situation with my tablets. And uh, my doctor said that everything what has happened to me is going to be down on my medical records. So if I've got to go for another medical, and at least I've got all what's happened now all on record and it's going to help my case and that's the only thing because I don't have one next year uh, it's a year after I've got one it's another two years because that's when they want to see me um, so I've got the support worker coming tomorrow because she rang me yesterday she wanted to meet I wanted to come over, uh, so I've got her coming tomorrow. So I'll be probably doing some housework, um, because I did some hoovering today, um, probably tidy up and stuff the bedrooms. I don't know. I'll think of something to do. <laughs> I have to try to get rid of the ants, but yeah, that's a different other thing. <laughs> yeah, I've got rid of them actually, but um, yeah, but I feel okay. I feel cool with these at the moment. At the moment. It's only the first day, but I feel all right. And it feels like I can be head on, if you know what I mean. I can be head on what challenge I can take. That's how it feels. That is how it feels, because at the moment... When I did that depression story yesterday, I was really, really down. And I felt better, better for talking to you guys. And even though I don't have any friends much because of my social anxiety and I get worried about things, but you were there for me. I know you were. You're in my little frame <laughs> somewhere. So, hang on. Frame, fog, fog, fog. <laughs> yeah, in my frame somewhere. So, yeah, guys. So, you can tell I'm a little bit better, guys. I'm coming back slowly. Um, I'm hoping to have a nice little drink on Sunday. I'm hoping this isn't going to start. But... If it does, got my inhalers and I've got my breathing exercises to do, which I have been told by the doctor to help my anxiety attacks. So, things are looking up, guys. I am getting better, getting stronger in myself and looking really good, actually, today and really feel good today and feel happy. 
and that is the main question, that is the main answer. That is what Hell's Bells want. And I hope you enjoy this video because I know some people do suffer from depression and anxiety and many other things, bipolar. And it's nice to get the support out there on YouTube and Facebook for people who suffer like us and we, we are not alone basically as that song says we are not alone so catch you guys later love you lords be cool be happy stay tuned L's for or two I'm out of here bye guys